Um, hi everyone, my name is Candy Tricia Kothiwe and I am part of Wikimedia Community User Group for Botswana. I'm a long-term editor um, with Wikipedia and I'm also um, one of the co-founders for Wikimedia Community User Group for Botswana. So today my topic will be about the challenges and opportunities for building a community. So I would like to share my experience um, about building my community that is Wikimedia Community User Group Botswana. So this is currently an, um, uh, an affiliate that was formerly um, active and now is currently inactive. So we're still working in, in the, we're still in progress, well, with reapplying for it to be um, recognized by Wikimedia Foundation. And we're hoping this will be approved um, hopefully nearly soon this year. So um, what we are currently doing is early in 2019, we started running on individual grants that is holding um, projects such as Wiki Loves Women, Wiki Loves um, Africa, Art and Feminism, and all the other um, projects around um, the Wikimedia Foundation um, project. So our community is mainly made up of university students and that is mainly females and males that is women and men um what we usually focus on is to build content about women um and also build content about our country Botswana in different aspects of it just trying to create um a localization or should I say create content about our local country and have it up there um, being shared by the international platform or international people to have access to our information about Botswana on the Wikipedia space. And our community is also not really just shared, um, well, it's not only joined by geeks, but it's open to anyone who's willing to learn. And um, so we don't kind of like discriminate so we we open our arms to have anyone who's willing to learn and also be a part of this and volunteer and contribute to this um, beautiful community. So here are some of the pictures of our successful, or should I say just our journey as a community. We have hosted a number of um, projects that is Wiki Loves Africa. You can see right up there is WLA, and then we have WLW, which stands for Wiki Loves, Af Wiki Loves Women, sorry. And then we have Art and Feminism, which is mainly around the um, gender gap um, articles. And then we have Wikidata, we also have um, panel discussions where we no usually talk about the gender gap, um, having women in included or having them more, having more representation of women online. And um, we usually also have editathons around these projects. So here are the pictures that we usually um, take or just to share our experience of what we have done so far, how, how far we've come um, and what we have done of course, our success stories and also our downsides. So I'll further on go on to share the next slide. So our journey wasn't quite easy. It's been a roller coaster ride for me. I would say um, there are times where we'd have events and we really have a low turnout rate. Um, so with me realizing this, I realized that there are downsides to it. It it depends on what people are interested in. Um, most of the times when we have something like um, Wiki Loves Africa, you'd see like the turnout rate will be a lot um, of participants on that and mainly men. Um, and then <clears throat> sometimes when we have like Wiki Loves Women, there's mainly women who are inclined to share, to come and participate for that. And then our largest rate, or should I say the largest group that we have is mainly the photographic side. There's a lot of men who are really interested with contributing, um, our, well, pictures about our country. When we have such a competition, the turnout is really gradually growing and is quite impressive to see, um, but we would like to have that kind of like diversity and inclusion where we have a good representation of women and men, of course, to be um, balanced out within this um, projects that we currently hold. Um, so I'll further on like to share the challenges that we have, um, that we have experienced in our community. 
So I realized that we have like a, a very um, volunteering kind of like um, missing culture of volunteering. People really don't understand what it means to be a volunteer they would prefer being paid kind of thing. So it, it, it's really important to, to share what our mission and goal is, uh, mission and vision um, of Wikimedia Foundation, what we want to achieve as a community. So it's worth kind of like coming up with these campaigns, I feel, to share more information of what the community is all about and what we're trying to, to share to make free accessible knowledge for all, to empower people across the world. So, so for the internet access, we have um, a problem with internet access because students don't really have enough finances to get accessibility to the internet. So hence, there's a problem with them um, being able to participate freely as much as they can. So we have identified this as a problem that we have within our community. Um, the next point there is rare knowledge of copyright. So I've realized that a lot of people would try or they haven't understood what it means contributing uh, things that are authentically maybe created by themselves. Somebody could share, for example, um, we come up with a competition maybe to share images about um, animals and then somebody would go into the internet and try and maybe screen grab one of those animals that they want or they think the picture is beautiful and um, they try to upload it to uh, the competition that we're currently running that could be about um, animals at the time. So there's really um, that kind of like lack of knowledge of how people should um, participate in such competitions, especially when they're learning from their friends and they don't come to the event or they just see our posters out there on how they can participate, but they don't really follow the steps or guides on how they could participate the right in the right way. So with that being said, we need more um, participation for people to come and learn when we host such events. And then there's a really low, or should I say, um, we need um, help with convincing local officials, that is partners to help us to try and um, share what we do as a, as a community to the nation, national scale. Um, we need more supporters and like um, people who can help us maybe with the lab to host our events or anything that could be relative to us, kind of like bringing a community together and then we, we carry out our trainings. It could be even the internet um, provision or, or anything that could help us just to bring the community together and host a successful um, event. So um, there's really unclarity, or should I say um, uncertainties around our community and what we do. So it would be very helpful for maybe the partners out there who could help us and understand what we do and give us the platform for us to share with them what we really do. Um, and then they could also extend that hand to help us host more events. We have another issue that is, um, well, this is what I've also been saying, we need to create more awareness. That is people have to understand what we mean when we say we are a Wikimedia community user group of Botswana. What do we stand for? What do we do? What is our mission? How do we um, want to drive that narrative or instill the, 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 the mission of sharing free accessible knowledge for all? What do we mean by that? So we need to really, um, when we say who we are, people understand exactly what we, what we do and how they can also participate so that they are really not lost. So I think more campaigns to do this and instill that awareness would help. Um, and also we have a challenge with retaining participants. Um, participants usually, um, let me say, they are more driven by competitions because um, due to lack of funds, we, are, we were unable to kind of like carry out regular workshops or regular trainings because of maybe lack of funding here and there to host such events and to keep, to keep the 
community spirit going on and have people really um, engage and keep contributing to Wikimedia. So retaining participants has really be, been a challenge for us to keep people um, in the community for them to volunteer throughout without um, without having something happening like a competition. So it would be really helpful to maybe train and have people understand what the essence of volunteering, even on their own free time, without maybe even a competition running, they can still contribute and know that they are doing it for goodwill. Um, it will be amazing to have that. And then my next slide here, I'll be sharing the impact we're planning to bring to our community. So we'd like to share, um, to create more articles that is around diversity and inclusion, increase the number of editors that we have because we're really a small um, community at this time. And we are also planning to create more awareness campaigns on Wikimedia projects, improve and create um, articles on uh, about our native language that is Sazwana because that is one of the, um, well, that's the first, that's our first language here. So there's a really, um, small number of articles that is written in our native language. So it will be great if we could start having articles, a large number of them on there. Um, and yes, we would also want to have more collaborators, partners to partner with when we carry out our events. And then I would also like to mention, share knowledge about Wikimedia and sister projects across the country. We just don't want to incline ourselves to um, Khaburoni. We're currently operating or carrying out projects within Khaburoni. Um, if it's just not within Khaburoni, then we're doing online and it's accessible to everyone, but we would really like to carry out remote um, trainings from time to time, maybe in different cities or towns, just to include everyone and make them understand what we are all about. My next slide will be about lessons that I have learned on building a community. So I've realized that to build a community, you'd have to have like, it's very important to have regular meetups that could be in person or online with your community members, just to keep the um, teamwork spirit alive. Um, it's also very important to have everyone included and work as a team, um, not run as an island type of thing. So it's very important to work as a team and include people when you carry out decisions and um, that makes them feel like they are also part of the part of something they, it gives them a sense of belonging um, it's also very important to know your community status as I, I'm saying we're currently a very small and growing um, community hence I know where we how, how much we can do and how far well, how far we can go and how far we cannot go. So, and I also understand, um, should I say the skills or talent of my um, community members? I know who can help me with this or that. If I need digital skills, there's somebody who I can go to. If I need maybe um, an organizer, I know who would be good with that. So it's really good to know what your um, community members are really good at so that you can know where you can put them in places or they can also just um, initiate, well, initiate the ideas of them participating to, to help out when events happen. Um, the next point there is initiate and invite community members to join meetings and activities. This is the same as, um, well, it's not the same as organizing in-person or online meetups, but it's more of like planning um, activities. They should be involved when we plan activities, what they foresee for us, um, how to carry out the activities that we plan for the year. It's really important to have the community also have um, a buy-in or they have that voice to say on what they want to see, how, the, how they want to see the community run throughout the year. So it's really lovely to hear what the um, ideas would be from here. Um, transparency is also a very good um, 
point to have when you run a community. Um, it gives people the sense of trust. It builds honesty um, among amongst each other so that there's always that peace and respect amongst um, the community. And um, just to let go of egos, I would say um, it's also very important, no matter um, if I'm a trainer or not, it's always very important to know that I'm a volunteer also. And um, it builds that kind of spirit of the teamwork spirit that I've been talking about. One other point is create rules, policies, workflows in the community. So to avoid things such as harassment or any other um, very disturbing or bad, um, bad harassment issues from happening, it's really good to have some rules and policies like the Universal Code of Conduct that we...